Uh, puzzle research. This is Agent Tethers. I, I think you have the wrong number. Oh, I see. A an assignment. In the field? No, no, sir. It's, it's just, it's been, yes, quite some time. Uh-huh. Erasers? The foundation of democracy? Oh, absolutely, sir. I agree, sir. Oh, yes, the White House needs its erasers, sir. I'll be on the next plane to... Wait, where? Just arrived in Scoggins, Minnesota. Population 754. Temperature. Mm, it's cold and not much to look at. According to the agency, there's some kind of situ in si thing going on at the local eraser factory. The whole plant is shut down. There's a weird man staring at me. Hopefully, this won't be a big waste of time. <clears throat> Agent Tethers out. I have no idea where my hotel is. I might have to ask for directions. Excuse me, I'm Nelson Tethers with the FBI's Department of Puzzle Research. Hello? Yep. Okay, and you are? Bjorn. Bjorn? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Mr. Bjorn. Boy, those snowmobiles sure are a bumpy ride, eh? Yeah. Can you give me directions to the nearest hotel? I'm having a little trouble finding my way around. You'd never get there. Roads are too slick. Sir, I'm an agent of the FBI's Puzzle Research Division. It can't be harder than the puzzles I see every day. Not so. It's really just a, a matter of trajection. Okay, on the way to the hotel, you're going to pass two traffic lights. I must have gotten lost. I thought your directions were taking me to the hotel. They did. Uh... I'm standing in front of the hotel, aren't I? Yeah. Thanks a lot. Welcome. I'm here to investigate an incident at the Scoggins Eraser Factory. Do you know anything about it? 
new. The hotel's going to close soon. Better check in if you're sticking around. Seen any suspicious people hanging around the hotel lately? Yep. Really? Can you describe them? Skinny. Asks lots of questions. There's a stupid hat. Thanks for the tip. Yep. Discovered a fence. Boards all chewed up something terrible. Could be the work of strays trying to get to the dumpsters back there. I don't know why I'm reporting this. Hello. Well, hello there, mister. Welcome to Valda's Inn. I'm Martha Garrett, but everyone calls me Ma. How can I help you? I'm Nelson Tethers. I have a reservation. Oh, yeah. You're here about the Eraser Factory, eh? We're awfully excited to have a real FBI man in our town. It's just like TV, yeah? Ooh, I'm gonna make some hot dish for you later. A uh, hot dish? Oh, you'll love it. I've never met a man who didn't love himself some hot dish. So, uh, what room am I in? Yeah, okay. I've got your room right here. Oh, dear. This is so embarrassing. The night clerk wrote down your room number in code. Hmm. Mind if I have a look? I bet I can figure out what room I'm in. Go, Mrs. Garrett. Oh, yeah, now I see. Okay, then. Here's your room key, FBI man. Thanks. Actually, while I have you here, do you mind if I ask you a couple questions? Real quick, I promise. Oh, yeah, of course. How do I get to the factory from here? The FBI doesn't know where the factory is? Oh, dear. Our moose is cooked. Rest assured, ma'am, the FBI just likes to confirm intelligence with civilian knowledge of... We like to double-check things. Oh, of course. Well, it's easy. I have a tourist map of our little town of Scoggins right here. You know, our Scoggins erasers is the plant that supplies the White House with all of its erasers. The president could be fixing a mistake with a Scoggins eraser right now. Yes, ma'am. That's why I'm here. That and the fact that every time the Bureau made an inquiry into the situation, all we ever got back were bizarre puzzles. Oh, yeah. Well, that'll happen. Do you know anything about the problem at the factory? Yeah, so tragic about the accident, huh? Accident? Oh, yeah, the foreman, Isaac Davner, they say he was killed in there. Is that so? Well, not to be gossipy, but I heard the accident was caused by raccoons. Raccoons? Yeah, little creatures that live in the woods around the factory. Maybe you should go talk to Sheriff Bog about it, though. You should be able to catch him out by the factory right now. Okay, I'll do that. Thank you. The guy in the lobby... Is he okay? Oh, that's Bo Murphy. He's always been a bit of an odd one. Yeah, he sits there all day trying to do his puzzles. 
he mostly keeps to himself, and I bring him some food from time to time. Sometimes I swear he'd starve to death if I didn't bring him something to eat. Thanks. Well, goodbye. Enjoy your stay. Oh, that reminds me. Do you have any gum for sale? Or know where I can buy some? Dear, we've been out of gum for quite some time. What? Haven't seen a stick in months anywhere in town. We tend to get shipments of things like that in the spring. So, no gum? Nope. Gum helps me concentrate. Well, these are interesting. Yeah, those are Scoggins gnomes. All the tourists love them. But I think one has gone missing. I swear, I had six of them. I took a picture when I set it up, but I guess I lost it. I still have the film negative, though. Well, one of your gnomes has most definitely run off. Oh my, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> Excuse me, you look perplexed. Puzzles. So many puzzles. Puzzles? I might be able to help you with that. Maybe you can relax a little. With the uh, whispers, if it's an acrostical enigma, maybe it's a Baltimore trans deletion. The whispers? Or not. Someone left a screwdriver in the alley beside the hotel. Looks clean, probably of no consequence. Hmm, winner undeclared in local contest.
That was a tricky one. The residents of Skagen seem nice enough. Aside from one wild goose chase, everyone's been cooperative. Plus, it looks like I'm primed for all the hot dish I can eat. It remains to be seen if that's a good thing. I got a map from the hotel owner, so I'm heading over to the eraser factory. Agent Tether is out. Am I supposed to be saying that? Wanted. I hear that Sharp recently hired the local high school football team. The whole team? Yeah. That takes care of that one. Sheriff Bog? Yeah, I'm uh, Nelson Tethers of the FBI's Department of Puzzle... Agent Tethers, good to meet you. We got a real mess here. Yes, we do. We do? Oh, yes. It's gonna be a while before we can get this factory running again. But my job is to get this factory back to making erasers. Agent Tethers, you're in a right pickle. Well, I should probably ask you some questions about the incident, then. That's what I'd do if I was a big, important FBI boy. What was this incident? Well, we don't need to be dramatic. What happened? There was an explosion. What? Oh, yeah. A big explosion. And the foreman just never came home. When did the accident take place? Well, I've been trying to figure that out myself. Here's what I know.
If there was an explosion at that time, wouldn't the icicles on the building have been knocked off? Good point. Maybe they grew back. What happened to the foreman? My notes don't have a lot of details. Well, we're still trying to figure that out. One day after work, Mr. Dabner just never came home. The accident was pretty bad. Oh, is there, uh, is there a body? Nope. He's just gone. Isaac Dabner's his name, if you don't have that in your notes. We don't even know if he died in that explosion? Won't be able to find that out till we find a way into the factory. What did your investigation turn up? Not much. I can't figure out how to get past this lock. Well, that's because it's missing a piece. I can see that just by looking at it. So it is. I guess that's why you make the big bucks, right? That's right, sir. Well, I don't seem to be getting a lot of answers. Listen, why don't you meet me down at the Moose Ear Diner later? I have some files related to the case that you may be able to help me with. Oh, okay, but I really think... Agent Tethers, it's a pleasure working with you. You're doing a great job. Meet you at the Moose Ear in a bit. Interesting. Out at their eraser factory. The doors to the factory are very locked. Some sort of custom-built contraption has got this place locked up tighter than Fort Knox. The device seems damaged, though. It seems to be missing a piece. Excuse me, I see you're working on your sign. Is it safe for me to go into the diner? Excuse me. Gotta fix the sign. Something wrong with your sign? Uh, I said, is there something wrong with... You a cop? I ain't got time for cops. I'm not a cop. Look, I gotta get this sign fixed before it gets dark. I don't want to be out here after dark, if you know what I mean. I don't, actually. What do you mean by that? It's just a fuse, but I can't remember which one it is. Not with all the whispers in my head. What? Whispers? Get the fuse for me. I'm getting cold out here. That should do it. Hey, what do you know? This ought to keep the little buggers away. Little what? Well, I gotta finish getting this sign mounted. See you later. Well, we'll see. I don't suppose you know anything about the eraser factory accident? Don't suppose I do. Did you know Isaac Davner? Not much. Heard he had some kind of accident feel bad for his wife glory such a pretty girl 
I should really talk to her. Do you know where I can find her? Yes, I do. So, where can I find her? Inside. Goodbye. There seems to be some tiny footprints in the snow around the diner. But I don't see any kids around here. Possibilities include stealthy children, tiny animals wearing boots, cats wearing shoes. Nice, Nelson. Now that's going in FBI records. And I'm still recording. Tether's out. There's some tobacco on the counter. It smells like cherry. I guess the waitress hasn't been in much of a cleaning mood lately. Hello, Sheriff. Agent Tether, good. You're here. Yeah, listen, I wanted to ask you... No time. I got a hunch about the factory. I got security camera records here of people leaving the factory. Good. It'd be helpful to talk with whoever left last. Exactly what I was thinking. I mixed up the photos so we can put them back in the right order. What? Why would you do that? You know how it is. No, I don't. That's evidence.
should clear things up. Yeah, yeah. That seems... Looks like the last one out was Mike Lobb. You think he might have had something to do with the accident? Probably. Why don't you head out to the ice fishing huts on Lake Spence? When he's not working, he's usually there trying to dead stick a lunker. Got it. No, wait. Do what to a what? Catch some fish. He's got himself a bright orange vest. Can't miss him. Anyway, to get there, you can take the snowmobile out to Sesame Woods. But you'll have to hoof it from there. What do you know about Glory Davner? Foreman's wife. Poor girl, she's a sweet kid. Her family has lived in this town for generations. Maybe she has something to do with the accident. That's ridiculous. It could be an insurance. Now you just leave poor Glory alone. She's having a hard enough time without you getting all accusatory. What was the name of the factory worker I'm looking for? The last guy to leave the factory was Mike Lobb. Drive out to Sesame Woods, then walk the trail out to the ice fishing huts. Is there anything I should know about the Sesame Woods? Well, they've got the odd wolverine in them. What? But they're probably hibernating or migrating or the like. I better get back to it. You betcha. Hello, gentlemen. A bit early for a lunch break, isn't it? Until the eraser factory opens again, Daryl and I have nowhere else to go. Yeah, me and Daryl got nowhere else to go. Oh, that's great. Then you don't mind if I ask you a few questions? Yeah, yeah. As soon as I get these bugs back in place. What? Why do you have bugs in a diner? You gonna help or not? Yes. Now, will you answer my questions? Sure. Fire them at me. What do you know about the guy fixing the sign outside? Randall Scruffman. Weird guy. He thinks the trees talk to him. Yeah, but he sure picked the right line of work. He's gonna be employed forever. Stuff always needs fixing. I think he looks extra hard for stuff to fix around here. Yeah, so he can be close to Glory. She's the waitress here. Sweeter than moose milk in the morning. You two are employed at the factory. Would you say it's a safe place to work? Well, safe as any other place, I guess. Yeah, except the new wing is haunted. No, it isn't. You better quit listening to those hippies. Why do you think the new wing is haunted? When the factory expanded, we built a new wing. A bunch of locals got angry. We had to clear out part of the forest to do it. Because spirits live in the forest. You mentioned something about spirits in the forest. Really? Depends on who you ask. You won't see me out in the woods after sundown. Well, me neither. But there ain't no spirits. Do you guys know what happened to the foreman? Yeah, the lobster bit him. Shut up, Daryl. What do you mean a lobster bit him? He means Mike Lobb. Mike and Isaac didn't get along all the time. Had a little bit of a fight. That's because Isaac thought he was smarter than all of us floor guys. Well, he probably is. No, he ain't. Just because he's a college boy don't make him smart. Thanks, gentlemen. Anytime. Hi there. I'm Agent Tethers with the FBI. 
Sir, you seem stressed. Do you know something about the factory you'd like to let me in on? I don't know anything. Sir, it's against the law to withhold information or lie to a federal agent. Yeah, I'm into some stuff. So, what's your name? Steve. Sir, I'm here about the factory. If you've got nothing to do with it, then however you spend your time doesn't concern me. There's nothing you can tell me about the factory. I don't co-mingle with the factory folk. You haven't heard about anything suspicious going on, have you? Nothing more than usual. What stuff are you into? I airlift wooden gnomes out of Scoggins. With birds. To where? Why? How? Black market trinket rings. Big money. Couldn't you just use the mail? Another puzzle solved. Excuse me, ma'am. Um, miss? Waitress lady? Welcome to the Moosier Diner. I'll be right with you. Can I help you with that? You go delicious thanks so uh what's good here i don't know it's all fine oh okay what's your name glory davner oh haha <laughs> so i'm nelson are you feeling okay yes no i'm just thinking about my husband what's wrong with your husband ma'am is he okay he will be well, I'm with the FBI's Department of Puzzles Research. I need to ask you a few questions. An accident at the Eraser Factory caused it to shut down. Do you know anything about that? Of course I do. What have you heard? Uh, well, nothing really. I mean, just that it was an accident like everyone says. The factory foreman 
Isaac Davner. He was your husband? Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. There's not much in my files about him. That's okay. He's a great man. I'm so proud of him. For? Just so proud. Oh, okay. The repairman outside seems a bit odd. Anything I should know about him? Well, I think he's got a bit of a crush on me, but he's harmless. Could he have hurt your husband to get to you? <laughs> oh no, he wouldn't hurt a fly. He even avoids stepping on rocks so he won't accidentally hurt any critters living below. I wish people wouldn't tease him for that, Daryl. Has the factory closure affected business? Yeah. People tend to hang around here longer now that they aren't going to work. Normally, that'd be a good thing, but I've been pretty distracted. I see that. Maybe I can help. wasn't so tough. Yeah, I guess not. Could I have a bit more of your time, ma'am? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> 